In this tutorial, I'll explain the basics of working with dormers. Let's switch to the 3D view since this is the best mode for working with them. Now we have added 16 pre-made dormers that can be found in the Building Elements tab of the Object Library. And, like most things in Live Interior 3D, adding one is as simple as a drag and drop. To move the dormer around the roof, including from one side to the other, just select any part besides the window and drag it. If the dormer doesn't snap to the roof automatically, you may need to drag it around until it does. All of the controls for dormers are located in the Roof section of the Object Properties tab of the Inspector. That is because dormers are basically small roof structures that are placed onto larger roofs, so most of the controls here work the same as for regular roofs. You can change the soffit type, set the fascia limit, and add, delete, and adjust segments. The same goes for changing materials and adding windows. Now I've already shown all of that in the Customizing Roofs tutorial, so let's go ahead and get straight to the dormer-specific controls. The elevation control works a bit differently for dormers than roofs. It does not raise the dormer straight up and off of the roof, it actually changes the vertical positioning. Next, we have the dormer width, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Let's set this to 8 feet and 2 inches. Under that, we can change the horizontal angle of the right and left sides. The chain between the controls links them together. If you want them to have different angles, break it by clicking on it. For now, we will leave both of the angles at 90 degrees. Below is the list of dormer segments. You can switch between the sides using the arrows. Now one very helpful control is a type menu in the current roof segment section. You can change a segment to a slope without using the angle parameter or choose hole if you wish to create an open balcony or for any other use you might find. We'll leave that as a gable for now. Now the dormer looks good, but we need to install a nice looking window. We can add a window to a dormer just like we would to any roof segment or a gable. Just select and drag and drop it into place. And with a little bit of adjustment, our dormer is done. Now once you get a dormer you like, you can save it to the object library for future use by going to Edit in the menu and choosing Add Selected Objects to Library and filling out the information in the dialog that shows up. That basically wraps it up for dormers. Now your loft can become more than just a dusty storage place.